and those in Tampines. Yeah, I'm Ray Sun Tan, a child of God. Well, I'm so honoured. Thank you for inviting me to share my testimony. And please pardon my imperfect English because of those uh, present tense, past tense, and whatever singular tense, plural tense, make me very tense. So sorry for that. Okay, I heard about many stories of my friends, how they come to Christ. Actually, uh, because of sicknesses or maybe trouble. But for my case and my wife's case, actually we come to Christ just out of curiosity. And for your info, I'm 16 years old right now. Why? Because I was born again in 2008. Thank God for that. Okay. Yeah, glory be to God. My wife in 2008, February, asked me a question. See, she actually said, what happened to my colleagues, Jasmine Tay and Li Nan Singh? And uh, she's, she was very curious about actually why their life being transformed. That time, um, for your info, uh, I, I was very stubborn. I just don't want to know about anything about Jesus or Christ. But my wife just mentioned this. She's very curious. Okay, this is going to prove that God is real. God is omnipresent. Why? Because she mentioned that in my living hall, God heard that. Why did I mention this? In 2008, February, when she mentioned this, two weeks later, I met Jaslyn Day at Thompson Plaza. And there, I'm so surprised, I think it may be just coincidence, right? So she invited me and my wife to uh, have a chit-chat, have a talk about her business and things like that. We went. But she shared most of the things uh, about Christ, her testimony. It, it was very interesting, seriously. Then, of course, my wife, Li Ping, was so glad, hey, at last, know about this Jacqueline Tay story. Then, the next person was Li Nan Singh, right? In 2008 May, I acted with him in one show called Homecoming. <clears throat> and there, in May, out of a sudden, he invited me to his new house. They called it housewarming. He invited myself and my wife. I find it, is that coincidence? Or... Why so funny? Why we mentioned in February and these two persons just appeared? So we went. Of course, Nansen shared his story, his story uh, about how he accepted Christ to us. Wonderful and very interesting. His, uh, his script, uh, and his story can, as a, uh, can be written in movie script. And then Nansen invited me to church, which is Lighthouse Evangelism Church. But I did not accept. I said, uh, well, I simply I said, thank you for your blessing. Thank you for telling me your story. But I didn't accept. But I said, why not you ask God? God can tell you whether to come to church or not. I said, ha? Huh? I mean, God can answer my prayer? How to pray? Just simply, just speak to Him by addressing Him as God. Of course, that time is, uh, he spoke to me in Mandarin, Shen. Then, of course, it ended up with one word called Amen. Then I, I just simply, I, okay, I, I heard what he, you know, all the description, so simple. But I did not tell him that, okay, I will ask God. I didn't. So I, we went home. But the next day evening, I remember at the balcony, my house balcony there. I look back, nobody at home. I stand at the balcony, I face the sky. And I started to ask. I asked in Mandarin, of course, Shana, I said, hey God, uh, are you the true living God? In Nansing told me that he invited me to church. Uh, he will let me know whether to come or not to come. Please tell me. So I keep listening. <sighs> Brothers and sisters in Christ, you know what I heard? Let me tell you, I heard nothing. <laughs> Serious, I don't lie. But something funny that's stirring my heart. This something like, I don't know whether I'm talking to myself or not. I just say, hey, it's okay to go. No loss. 没有损失. 
Then I asked Li Ping, my wife, I said, hey, how about the, the invitation going to Lighthouse? She said, it's okay, what? It's a, no loss. At the same time, also mentioned Mei Sun Shi. So we came to Lighthouse, I think it's uh, 2008 June, the beginning of June, not mistaken. I came in, I said, I said the second row. And after that, uh, after worshipping everything, Pastor Ronnie shared the sermon. He invited us to come to the altar to receive Christ. I don't know why. Seriously, I don't know the answer. I, first time in my life come to church, I accepted Christ on the very night. Yeah, thank God. Now then I know that actually it's divine arrangement. My wife was very uh, surprised. First time, or well, recent time, come to church, accept the Christ. From there onwards, actually I find that, wow, God is very really great. Um, miracles have happened. But before the miracles, actually what changes in my life, I would like to share with you uh, a, a few, uh, because my time is limited. So, characters. In Chinese, there's a Chinese idiom that says, 江山易改,本性难移. Character cannot be changed so easily. Huh? But God can. Why did I mention that? Because myself, okay, I have a hobby of uh, buying those like for the gambling, huh? for these Toto, Big Sweep, things like that. Spend a lot of money on that. Uh, my wife's not here, I can share with you. <laughs> She was worse than me. <laughs> yeah, she bought more, more than me in those 40. Then, what happened when I myself received Christ, even Li Ping, uh, after receiving Christ, uh, all these so-called interests of gambling just simply lost my interest. We lost our interest. Simply gone. It's not because we are afraid of God will punish us by buying 40. No, just simply we just lost this interest. Thank God for saving us a lot of money. <laughs> then, besides that, one more character about myself is that because at times when I was angry, I used to score some, uh, we call it vulgar language, right? We call it san zi jing. Le. But san zi jing, uh, san zi jing, uh, I think in three characters, right? But after accepting Christ, I don't know why so. This so-called vulgar language, San Zi Jing, or the English four letter, whatever, or just simply I could, I don't know why I won't mention that. No matter how angry, like what Pastor Ronnie told me before, how angry, actually I also speak three, letter, three, three words. Praise the Lord. No matter how angry. You want, well, I wanted to score something, but I just say, hey, hey, praise the Lord. And now, by, because I know speaking in tongue, when how at times when I'm angry, I speak in tongue. Thank God. So this to say that 江山易改,本性神可以移. God can change our character. Okay. After accepting Christ, miracles happen in my life. It is true. Why? Because I remember a gospel lighter, a brother in Christ asked me on the very night in 2008 of June, said, hey, Brother Ray said, welcome to Lighthouse. Uh, and uh, okay, the, I'm just a newborn baby. Yeah? He asked me anything to pray for. I imagined it, nothing. Seriously, nothing. That time, I was quite okay with my wife. But he said, any sickness? I said, what about chronic pain? He said, chronic pain? Sure. He said, Jesus is a healer. He can heal everything and anything. Oh yeah, I remember in 1994, I fell from a horse. I got chronic pain in my L5. That I think is something to do with my nerves. At times when I stand for too long, wow, the pains come. I mean, um, I just could not stand it. So he prayed for me. All right. The first American night um, in June 2008, he prayed for me. Then I remembered on the, at the fifth miracle service, I met him again. And he asked me, hey, how, hey, brother, how's about your, the chronic pain? I said, to be honest, I don't know how to measure, nah, but I said, 80% healed, left 20%. I, he said, 20%, I don't know how the percentage goes. I said, just healed quite a lot, but at times when I stand for too long, the pain still comes. But he, he asked me a question, brother Rayson, 
what if God healed you 100%? Would you come to the stage and share your testimony and say, Jesus healed me? Or is it simply? I mean, that is very simple, right? I said, okay, no problem. And I just, uh, I, I was just like a, ch- a, a small child. A simple, three years or four years old, whatever he told me, I just believed. He told me faith is something believe to see, but not see to believe. So I just simply believe that I will be healed. So on the very night, uh, Saturday night, after the service, when I went to Nansing's house for a gathering, I felt a warm sensation on my L5 when I was driving to his house. Then after that, I find it is funny. Why there was a warm sensation? Then I asked a, a sister in Christ to, I mean, to feel this uh, L5 <clears throat> part of my body. And she exclaimed, that, yeah, it's very hot. She used the word hot. Huh? Then, after that, I shared with Li Ping, said, hey, I, I got this funny feeling. But the next day, Sunday, brother and sister in Christ, I was totally healed in 100%. So I don't know what's the reason. And I don't know, I don't want to know the reason. Simply, I just believe that, yeah, God, you are the one that healed me. That's all. Very simple. Of course, after these uh, mirac- uh, miracles that happened to me, there are many more miracles that come to my life. The next one, of course, is uh, my wife leaping. She accepted Christ in 2008 as well, in August the 9th. 9th of August, that was National Day. Thank God. <clears throat> then I really want to thank God for using me as a vessel to share my testimony. So, I did share my testimony with my colleagues. And then, the first person I shared, my colleague, was Chiu Chao Ming. And then, he came to the Lighthouse as well. And also, he accepted Christ. First time, I think it's not first time coming to church. But he accepted Christ on the August the 30th. Thank God. Then, after that, he, right now, he also being used by God to share his testimony. Of, of course, my colleagues in this industrial platform, I shared with quite a few of them. Even the, the sister Siu Hong, I think she's still in Lighthouse here. And then with Felicia Chin and with uh, Jeff, her husband. And they all accepted Christ. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Well, how actually I encountered God? Actually, something I find that God talked to me during that time was very funny. He talked to me through dreams, in a dream. That's what Ayoyo and my wife are always you don't keep on dreaming and tell me this. But I say, I got to share with you. Seriously. But I didn't dream of 4D, huh, for your info. God, just simply, because I have a question. Then I have a question in mind. I asked uh, God, say, hey, which church should I go for my spiritual growth? Because a lot of friends, uh, sister and brother in Christ, invited me to their churches. But I say, hey, I accept Christ in the lighthouse. Should I be in the lighthouse? Seriously, I don't know. So I asked God this question. Then God gave me a dream. I remember that dream was on about a Thursday night no? when I was sleeping. I was running along a track with Nan Singh. And at the end of the track, the running track was Pastor Ronnie or making coffee for both of us. <laughs> serious? Don't laugh, serious. I don't bluff. Then, and moreover, Nan Singh and myself, we love coffee. He was smiling, no, making coffee over there. Then we ran. Ultimately, both of us, uh, we won the race. Yeah, he got, it. he got a gold medal, I got a silver medal. Of course, only two person running, right? <clears throat> then I wake up. I don't know what this dream is about. Seriously, uh, I can't explain. So I shared with Nancy, I shared with Li Ping and some brother and sister in Christ. I shared with Pastor Clarence. Pastor Clarence, huh? From Lighthouse. Then, uh, Nancy, we came to the miracle service again on Saturday, on Saturday evening. So that was on Thursday, Saturday. And I remembered we are sitting around the front row or second row. Pastor Ronnie that night, the sermons was about Christian life is about Olympic marathon of life. 
we are all running along the track. And everybody running. You may fall, Jesus will raise you up again. And then ultimately, when you reach the, 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 the line, the ending line, everybody will, go, will get a gold crown. And they stare at me. And I'm saying, hey brother, if you've got any dream about me, please tell me again. Is your dream come true? So that's confirmed. Confirmed that, hey, I should stay in lighthouse for my spiritual growth. That's why since those years right here now, 16 years old, I, I thank God. Really, I grew quite well in my spiritual <clears throat> with lighthouse teachings. <laughs> Seriously. Of course, God talked to me through dreams of quite a few. <clears throat> Not only uh, this dream about Pastor Ronnie, of course, it's how sometimes uh, he answered my prayer as, okay, I don't mind sharing with one more. Is it okay? You would like to hear one more? Why I've been baptized in three months? When I was reading my Bible, that time I was just a baby Christian. I was, I mean, uh, advised to read the four Gospels in my New Testament. After reading, all of a sudden, I haven't touched those Old Testament yet, but all of a sudden, there was something in mind. Say that, Acts 2, verse 38 and 39, something like that. I don't know why is that. What do you mean by Acts 2, 3, 8, 3, 9? I, I, of course, I checked the Bible because I haven't touched it. And then talk about, hey, Peter mentioned about uh, baptized as a disciple of uh, Jesus. So the next day, I told Li Ping, I said, hey, dear, I would like to get, get baptized. I said, huh? Sure not. Uh, many Christians, uh, they take years now to consider this. Why, why all of a sudden I say, I think God talked to me through dream. You dream again? I say, yes, it's true. So I don't care. I'm quite, I'm quite, uh, I just a very, uh, a very faithful child. So in October 2008, I baptized myself. Three months went after, after, after I accepted Christ. So last but not least, I really want to give thanks to God. I thank Him for many, many things. Even sharing my testimony always gives me the opportunity to thank God. Ladies and gentlemen, God is real. God is true. He is really omnipresent. Before being, before I accepted Christ, He knows what exactly is going on. Just a simple conversation. My wife said, want to know a story, know stories of who and who, and then He arranged it for us. So this is so-called divine arrangement. Thank you, Jesus. I love you, Jesus. Glory be to you.